What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and this one should make the interior for your Hello Neighbor Act 3 neighbor house. Yes, I am making interior tutorials. This specifically will be floors number 1 and number 2. Uh, and that's literally exactly it, actually. I thought about adding another room, but I was like, I'll just get complicated, because I'll be like, floor 1, 2, and half of 3. And like, who wants to say that? But, uh, yeah. So... I don't really know, honestly, what else to say. I mean, here it is. My plan, I guess for one, I should say the, the old closet design has been changed. It is now the new one. I'm just showing you everything that I am doing in this particular video. And um, I plan on splitting this up into one and two, and then probably three, four, five, or like three, four, and then five, six. Or splitting it up roughly to where it's kind of like one a third of the workload and keeping it at three parts again maybe it'll end up getting crazy and going to four because this time unlike the exterior i have not finished recording this at the time of you seeing this most likely but anyway that being said enjoy the tutorial and i will catch you on the flip side Alrighty, so the space we need for this is, oh, I don't need any space, all you need is this uh, uh, abomination. And the materials you need to start off, because you do need those, are light blue concrete, yellow concrete, red concrete, birch doors, iron doors, warp planks, Brick blocks. I forget the other floor. I think it's hold on. Wait, I'm actually inside the house. I'm like, hold, hold on. It is quartz bricks. Okay, good. I was pretty sure it was quartz bricks. I was like, wait, is it? Is it really? And I'll just call it smooth quartz slabs, I guess. That was probably not the right blocks. That's fine. <laughs> That's a problem for when we get there. Anyway, come inside your house and, um,. I'm going to start off with the floor, because there's two rooms, and only two rooms, that are not warp planks. And I will specify where they are. Actually, one is near the wall that I'm looking at. This yellow concrete wall where you have the 4x3 window and the 1x3. If you take the 1x3 and the brick under it, you will bring it forward with... 9 quartz bricks. Now, fun, fun fact, you're taking the back eight for this now you're you're bringing it right one row and left two rows because the door here is quartz brick under it is that right okay yeah on the left wall you're gonna take the third one from the back so this is the first second third and this one you'll just extend left an additional one uh back left where you have the open window it's another yellow concrete section actually which is a little ironic but hold on, let me move over there because I don't know the dimensions of the room off the top of my head. Actually, you're literally just taking the, the row of yellow concrete in front of the open window and you're going across with six brick blocks. Then you're going back to right three. Back three, and then right by two. I almost just broke the door, but right two. And then the middle of this is filling with brick blocks. My bad, I didn't mean to hit you with numbers that early. I know that was kind of uncalled for. Typically, you get at least a little bit of lenience. Not really, actually. It's usually numbers right off the bat in most tutorials. Anyway, rest of the floor, you're filling in with warp planks. The entire thing. This is a, a fun time, so... What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna enjoy every se- not really, I'm not enjoying any seconds of this. It's a floor, it's warped planks. The sound's kinda nice. Although it sounds like, like a clicky plank, I don't know, it's weird. Uh, anyway, that's extremely off topic, but I guess it's on topic enough because it's the, the point of having a great time that I'm not gonna be doing. That's not important though. I'll catch you guys in a minute. Okay, so uh, there was something I was going to say, and I, I forgot it during that time lapse. Hopefully, I'll remember eventually, but I don't know what it was, and it's really annoying me, because I was like, 
Wait, I need to check the floors to make sure they were all correct, and then when I was doing that, I just- it left my mind. So maybe I'll think of it in a minute. I'm sure it's not that important, and if it is, then too bad. Uh, so we're gonna start at the- the front here. And you want to take the window to the side of the door, the one block window, and you're gonna take the light blue to the side of it, or to the left of it, which is this row right here. Along the warp, you will go back with four light blue concrete. You will leave a three block gap. And then you'll place four more light blue concrete. You will go left from this with a light blue concrete. A bird's door on the back half of that block with the handle on the left if you're looking at the door, which will be... Or on the right side of the door, which will be like that. And then you'll place technically three more light blue concrete. You will need to destroy this row of pillar cores, which we'll worry about the rest of that later when we bring up the walls. And you'll take that same corner. You'll go right with two light blue concrete. Iron door. Let me make sure that is actually... Yeah, handle is on the right there. And then you will go right with 11 light blue concrete, birch door with the handle facing right, 4 light blue concrete, birch door with the handle facing left, these are both in the front half by the way, then right with 2 light blue concrete and then you'll extend all the way back and make this row of pillar quartz light blue along with this back corner as well, that is important. What did I, what do I have next? You'll take the iron door and the light blue concrete to the left of it specifically. You will go back with two yellow concrete. That I'm recording! And then you'll go right with three. Back with three. Right two. And then you'll go back with a birch door on the left half of that block with the handle facing if you're on the left side when you place it it should face should face back or i guess left like that no, freaking i forgot that's how doors work unfortunately i'm gonna have to do a, an inventory swap then unfortunate that's annoying but whatever and then you'll also take this uh, yellow con grid in front of the door and just connect it forward that's a weird one anyway uh, between the two birch doors here on the light blue wall. Well, actually, this is kind of an easy wall to figure out. I'll, I'll give you a hint. It's, it's between the warped and quartz brick, and there's a door. I know, really a struggle. In case, uh, my sarcasm isn't doing you any favors, you'll take the left half of the row of four light blue in between the doors, and you'll go back with five yellow concrete. Birch door on the left half of this block with the handle facing right. Hmm, I'm gonna jump off eight bridges at once. The handle facing right, and then two yellow concrete behind that. You can make that wall light blue, technically. But either way, it's a lose-lose, so. Now, there are two more... Gosh, darn it! That's fine. Do we need bird? Yeah, we do need burst doors. Get rid of your iron doors, and I suppose your warped planks, and get out yellow terracotta and oak doors. The yellow terracotta here, uh, to the side of the front door... You're bringing this back with... Hold on, I need to get there on my alt so I can check the direction of the door because I don't have that written down. You'll go back with four yellow terracotta. A door on the left half of this block with the handle facing towards the front of the build, regardless of the direction there, although it should be facing right from your perspective. Then go back with a yellow terracotta, a red concrete, and then you'll extend this all the way to the right and then include that pillar quartz row. Pretty much all of the pillar quartz rows on the inside we're getting rid of. Also, I didn't mention it here. The one behind this birch door, you should get rid of. So, I didn't need to freaking replace that anyway. Okay. That's fine. Funny, but fine. Uh, Come to the back now and the birch door all the way over here. I wasn't gonna forget about this. I mean, I was, but I wasn't gonna forget about this at the same time. That's a paradox, isn't it? Uh, not really. You'll take the fourth throw of warp to the, the right. This is the first in the corner. Second, third, fourth. If you're at the back, you'll place a uh, light blue concrete. Forward with an oak door on the right half of that that faces forward left from our perspective. And then three light blue concrete. Just for funnies, you're going to take the middle of the that row of three light blue concrete. And you'll bring it right by six... And then you're going to bring this up with, 
what, four rows of light blue concrete? One, two, three, four. Yes, four rows of light blue concrete, where each row a block gets taken off of the right. And I guess you can include that that uh, row of three if you so choose. That is three right there. And you should end on a, well, row of three. Oh, yeah, that is the height of the... <laughs> okay, sure. That's fine, whatever. I'm just dumb, that's all. It's just like, my brain gets there, but not in time. Anyway, every other concrete color you're bringing up with four additional rows of said concrete. Doors are brought up with whatever is logical in that situation. There is an area, so I'll actually say this right now. The kitchen doorway. The kitchen doorway. This three block doorway. It's the only doorway where there's anything weird going on as far as I can remember off the top of my head. Which my memory is good enough, so. It's four blocks tall, so you're just connecting the top row. Like that, and yeah, just the, the walls are brought up. I think you you guys would have expected this to come anytime soon, and here it is. Don't forget the pillar courts, though. You can I would leave this top row just because it kind of I guess gives you another baseline point or another another I guess end point. But everything else, bring it up with a, a whole lot of concretes, and yeah, I'll be back in a little bit when this is done. I have missed a door. Well, anyway, once you've done that, you should have this. But I'm realizing I missed a door. So, these two light blue concrete doors here that are four blocks apart. You're taking the left one of it and you're just tracing it forward, and there should be a doorway on the red concrete here. The door will be on the back half and the handle will face right, which is actually very nice, at least for bedrock users. I don't know how that the door system works on Java. I think you can place it either direction you want, regardless of gaps and stuff, which is very nice. Unfortunately, we don't have that luxury here in bedrock land. Um... I suppose the last thing. Now, I will point out also this little, like, oh, that's what I wanted to say! I remembered! This little right angle here with the, uh, <laughs> the basement door is. I obviously can't fit a room here in general. I didn't add anything at all in this room. There's not even a floor now that I'm looking at it. And, uh, yeah, just obviously because of the tight space, do kind of think about what you're doing when you're if you were gonna make anything here, but I would just leave it blank and just have a teleporter inside the door, or whenever you open, well, I guess whenever you open the door is a little complicated, because then you could technically open the door before you open the boards, which then would let you, nah, never mind, that's Minecraft stuff. Uh, so just, I would just add some sort of teleporter inside, I wouldn't really worry about the basement room, unless you want to try to squeeze it in. I'm sure you could do something with the wall to make it work, but I'm unfortunately not that guy. So you're going to take the top row of uh, concrete and or terracotta, because I realized I forgot that last time, and you're just filling in all of your ceilings in with upside down smooth quartz slabs. We will come back and do lights probably actually first. Uh, I also would recommend night vision. I should have said that at the beginning, but I already had it on, so my brain didn't, like, yeah, you should get night vision. But, yep. <laughs> Where you have the staircase, uh... Actually, I'm going to go over there right now so I can explain it, because... Oh, I forgot that... <laughs> I knew I forgot some row of pillar quartz somewhere, and it was right there. Where you didn't miss a block, like I did, the staircase, you're just essentially for the upside on smooth quartz slabs. They will actually kind of just perfectly go around it. So basically, you're having a row behind it, and it will connect forward on the first row that there's not light blue on the, the little, I guess, uh, triangle. So you can see if I'm on this light blue concrete here, this corner one, and I go up, I'm just inside the smooth quartz. And then this little gap, you'll just leave empty. Empty. That is where the staircase is, in case me saying the staircase wasn't enough of a hint, I guess. But, uh, yeah, my bad. I'm just feeling really sarcastic today, apparently. I don't know where that came from. I guess sometimes I'm just in that vibe. Anyway, uh, I think you guys know the drill. Uh, this is, like, Alpha 3 all over again. I'll be back in a little bit.
Try, try not to forget a room when you do do that, uh, except for, I guess, above the basement door, technically, doesn't matter. But, obviously, it's not gonna, like, destroy your build if you forget a little room, but just obviously try not to. Also, f uh, unrelated, but I just actually uploaded part two of the exterior while I'm recording this, and everybody's so surprised, like, oh my god, already? Because, you know, the back-to-back the -back days thing. So, on this build, I went with the original closet design. I believe I actually was gonna change it and then I forgot. For this, I am going to use the new one. Just because I feel like it's better. But it technically doesn't matter all that much. So, we're gonna start with uh, the kitchen for this. And I would come inside. This is the front left room, by the way, if you are not completely familiar with positionings of rooms. I will just try to keep that in mind. Although I do typically call rooms by their name. Uh, but anyway, you want to start by getting out lime terracotta. That's not... Okay, whatever. Red shulker box. I never use shulker. That's not even... Oh, it's not even called red. It's just called shulker. That annoys me more than it should. The fact that they're not color named. Anyway, unrelated. Oak slabs. Why did you not grab? I didn't hit the shift key. Which we will also use for planks just for that inventory slot. Oak stairs, which we're using for stairs. <laughs> Smooth court stairs. I'll stop with the, the sarcasm, I swear. It's not gonna stop. Stone buttons. Black concrete. I was like, is that actually black concrete? I had to really think about it. Iron trap doors. And I will call it... There's literally nothing good we can do. I'm gonna say packed mud. Now, with this packed mud, I believe there are other... This is the, like, dirt bag, I think, that's that's sitting in the in the room. I believe this design changes a couple of times, so keep that in mind, because... Or I think it changes at least once. I'm pretty sure later it's definitely different, but... Yeah, I actually think it's composters later. I'm pretty sure it's composters. But I'm gonna go with the original design, except for the closets. That's the only thing I'm changing. Front right corner of the room, hey, that's where I'm standing. Lime terracotta with a red choker box on top. There is an acacia door, but I forgot about it, so we didn't grab it. <laughs> uh, if you look now at the front wall, you're going to go across from that fridge. I guess continuing along, you're going to go right from this perspective. Leave a one-block gap. Place opposite on smooth court stair. Oak plank. Black concrete. Opposite on oak stair facing into the corner. Opposite on oak slab in that corner, and then you go like towards the back of the room with an uh, opposite down slab, and then a plank, and then you'll leave a one block gap, and that's where your packed mud will be. Uh, above this plank that I'm actually currently highlighting, you're leaving a one block gap, placing another plank above the opposite on oak stair. You're doing the same, same with another plank. All four planks have a stone button on there. I guess they're interface. Like, if you're standing here kind of just, like, I don't know, cooking something up on the on the stove, all the buttons will be kind of looking towards you, except I guess this front one's a little bit more staring off into space. But, whatever. On top of the black concrete, iron trap door. Before we clear inventory, there are a couple of shelves on this wall here. This is the right wall, in front of the doorway. The second one of light blue concrete up in the actually the, the middle of this three, you're placing an oak slab. Behind it, an opposite on oak slab. And then essentially, you're doing the same thing except a full block gap between this and above. So if you're from the first oak slab, you're counting up to the second, or I guess the light blue concrete above it. Then it's an opposite on oak slab and it'll be up diagonally to the left with an oak slab. That gives you this. Those are your shelves. You can clear your inventory and get out. Acacia doors. Hey, look, I remembered this time. Item frames. Black stained glass panes. A clock. Mangrove fence. Barriers, string, or structure voids. I would prefer barriers because, well, you can see string and structure voids cling to fences. Uh, red carpet, mangrove stairs, and we'll go paintings, and that should finish our room, unless I am missing something catastrophic, which I don't think I am, other than the light in the ceiling, but I think we'll do all of those at the end of the first floor, at least, like we did with 
Act 2? I think it was Act 2. I don't remember. I think it was just the most recent one. Uh, black concrete here, the the stove. You're placing an item frame off the black concrete with the black stained glass pane in it. The only side that you can. You're going to place an acacia door off of the fridge. Off the, I guess, back side of the fridge. Making sure when you open it, it's up against the wall. You don't want to leave it open, though, because I don't think you should leave your fridge open. It's not a good idea. Not that it's going to freeze the house like that one SpongeBob episode, but I don't think you'd want to do it. Anyway, from the pack, whoopsies, from the pack, <coughs> packed mud here on the the left wall. You're gonna count back diagonally to the right with a mango. Or go d back diagonally to the right. You're placing a mango fence. Yikes! Go right with a barrier and then another mango fence. Behind the barrier, you're placing three more barriers, and behind either fence, you're placing two barriers and then another fence. Place red carpet on top of this whole thing. Fun fact about structure blocking structure voids, not that I'm using them, but they, they don't exist. So, if you guys recall, and I think it was Alpha 3, it might have not have been Alpha 3. No, it was. And the table in this room had no carpet on top, that's why. Because the structure voids didn't load, so obviously the carpet had nothing to load off of, which is a little annoying. Front middle of the table, which is this barrier, I guess. You're placing a mangrove stair in front of it, facing to the right. Off of the right side of the table, you're taking, I guess, the front half, which is this barrier, and you're placing a mangrove stair facing back. That's the table done. From the front mangrove stair, you're going to leave a one block at moving forward and place a red carpet here. Place one to the right, one back diagonally to the right, and then another one to the right. It's time for paintings and item frame clock. First off, from the packed mud again, you're going to count up to and back by one on the along the wall. You're placing an item frame with a clock in it. Back wall, there's three paintings. Those are the only paintings in the room. From the bottom left, light blue concrete, you're counting up diagonally to the right by one. There's a one block painting here that is the yellow city skyline. That's I still don't know their official names. Once I get official names, I'll actually be able to tell you, but I can't right now. From this painting, you'll count right to up one. That's the bowl of salmon. Or it's something. I think it... There it goes! Never to be seen again. Except for right now. I almost broke it again. Up diagonally to the left from that is that weird reptile line. I still don't know what this one is either. That one. Parrot? It's something not a parrot, but it looks like a parrot. Maybe that's what I'll call it from now on. Looks like a, like a, a kiwi-looking parrot. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but there's, like, the parrot. I think there's actually a bird called a kiwi. Or something similar to kiwi. I don't remember. That is so off-topic, but, um, anyway. You should have an elytra on for this. Or, well, probably. Both doors in this room have mangrove stairs boarding them off. The back one is off the back. This one's off of the... Inside of this room. This is why I say you should have an electric so you can just fly back in. Although, you could just go back around and through the door. Which we'll probably have to do to get into that room again. Which is fine. That's not really a problem. You must clear your inventory. I need to make sure that I don't get rid of... That's not what I meant to put in there. And you want to get out. Oak planks. Acacia plank. Is that spruce or dark oak? That's spruce. I can't tell, apparently. Spruce stairs. Dark oak trap doors, and that is literally everything you need for this room. I thought there was an extra shelf, but I'm dumb. Front left-hand corner of this room, you're going to start by counting back by two and right by one and place an acacia plank. Bring it back by two. Take the middle acacia plank and place an oak plank on top of it and also to the right of it. From this right one, you're going right another oak plank back one and then back diagonally to the right by one this is the old design for the boxes i believe i think these are boxes uh so yeah you, you're gonna notice as like we move up designs are gonna change for things this first floor first two floors actually were made like really early and then everything else was made a solid amount of months later it was a good bit of time but uh, i don't know what i just saw from the back acacia plank to the left of it on this brick block, you're going to place two dark oak trap doors on the left half of the block that are opened up against the wall. 
One more thing, it's a shelf. It's if you know the how shelf does how my shelf designs are, this one's fairly simple. In this kind of corner, it's not like the very corner, it's like this weird makeshift corner that isn't actually like any corner, it's just an extra wall. You're placing upside down spruce stairs on top of each other in this corner facing back, specifically three of them, and then you're placing upside down stairs facing into those behind that. Now, get back into that room to the right. That should be this. Yeah, this is room done. Get back into this room to the right here, which is the bedroom, and you'll clear your inventory. And this is where the new closet design actually comes into play. Hooray. So. I suppose we'll actually start with that. Get out. Birch, sta birch door. Sorry, not stair. Mangrove door. Mangrove slab. Oak door. I almost forgot the new design. I was like, yep, we just need those two doors, but no, we needed a third. Um, oak planks. Or one oak plank, technically. Crimson button. Prismarine walls. This is oh, really... I forgot about this. White bed. And... I think I'll call it Acacia Slabs. Yeah. Which we will also use for planks. If you are in the front of this room, that window is on the back wall. This is important because you want to take to the left of the window. I would actually place in this, like, you have three blocks to the left of the window. I place in this middle block along the wall, Mangrove Slab. Because to the left of this slab, you want to place a birch door. To the right of it, you want to place a mangrove door. And in front of it, you want to place an oak door. And then you'll have a mangrove slab up kind of from everything and destroy the one in the middle. That's just a placeholder. I'm probably going to use that for the closet design. Just so I, you can pinpoint the very center of it. Just makes things a little nicer. At any rate, from the mangrove door that barricades the door. The mangrove stair that barricades the door, excuse me. You're going to count to the third yellow concrete in front of it. Place an oak plank with a crimson button on the right face. You're going to count into this corner here, this front left corner, and count right by one. And you'll place two placeholder blocks to the right. It doesn't matter what they are, although you really only have oak planks, so... I mean, I guess you could do slabs, but upside on slabs. You're going to place a white bed on top of this with the pillow side of the bed on the left side. So in the corner, kind of. You're breaking the placeholder blocks and replacing them with prismarine walls. Don't, just don't even ask. I think this is another design that changes later. I don't know if it changes in this house, though, because I don't think there's another bed like this. But I think Alpha 2, it's different. Yeah, no, it's definitely different in Alpha 2. Anyway, still moving along the front wall, you're leaving a one block out from those walls and placing two acacia planks to the side. Along the right wall, you're going to count to the third row of yellow concrete up, and you should be in this kind of corner on the yellow. You'll count back by one and then place three acacia slabs. Sorry, three upside on acacia slabs, actually. Some minor error. Um, uh, I don't like this particularly. I don't like anything particularly, I guess. You want to clear your inventory and you want to get out. Cyan concrete. Oak button. Warped button. Black concrete. Polished blackstone walls. Polished blackstone blocks. And... Oh, perfect. Again, it's, it's perfect. Paintings, item frames, and clock. And that's everything you need for this room. Uh, these two acacia planks here at the, the front, you're placing war buttons off the back of them. Where you have the three acacia, or upside down acacia slabs along the right wall, along the floor below the back one, you're placing a side and concrete with a note button off the left of it. Kind of just getting a feel for things. The row of yellow concrete to the right of the window, you're going to take this bottom yellow concrete, and I guess the warped plank technically, and you're counting forward by one and placing a black concrete here. You're going up from this with three polished black stone walls, then you're extending right one, and then in the ceiling you'll place a polished black stone block. You'll also take the middle of that row of three and just extend a wall to the left. Just gives it a little bit more shape and wonkiness. That's even a word. I don't know. 
There's only four paintings in here, which is nice. You'll take this oak plank here at the left wall again, and you'll from it count... If you're looking at it, you'll go up diagonally to the left by one, and here you're placing a one block painting that is the... A weird yellow one that looks like a face, that one. Above it, place an item frame with a clock in it, and then you'll count to the right by two, and here you'll place a little teacup guy. One block painting. Pretty sure all paintings are one block in this house. No, that's a lie. There's a couple that are not. Oh, are there? No, because the one's open. I have the, um, the, like, big golden apple tree painting open. Looking at the acacia planks now, if you're looking at them, you will take the left one, and you'll place another one of the weird yellow face paintings on top. Perfect. First try. From this perspective, up diagonally to the right, salmon one. There's no way I just went two for two. I should go, uh, get a lottery ticket. I'm actually insane. Even though that was luck-based. But insane luck. I think that's this room done. Yeah, that's a good way to end this room. On a sheer amount of luck. Next room over. I don't think we can do anything with our inventory set. We can not. This should be a one set room, though. Should be. Maybe it'll be like one and a half sets. In which case, I'll be really disappointed. You need to get out. Smooth court stairs. Once you've cleared your inventory, I'm assuming. Smooth quartz slabs. Iron bars. Oak trap doors. Acacia trap doors. Oak slabs, which we will also use for planks. Do we need to? We don't actually need to, I guess. If you want to get out of oak planks as well, you can, although it's literally one plank. Never mind, don't actually, because you need lever, oak fence, and blue carpet. So it is full. I just missed the lever. If you're at the front of this room, in front left a left hand corner, you'll count back by one and place an opposite down stair, smooth court stair here facing right, with a lever above it powered on. And then above the lever, you're placing an oak plank with an acacia trap door opened up against the right half of it. I have the handle on the top, although it doesn't matter. It's whatever you prefer. Back right hand corner, actually in the corner, you're placing an opposite on smooth court stair facing right. Oak trap door on top. On top of that iron bar, and on top of that, a smooth cord slab. Come back to the front right-hand corner, and you'll count back by two. You'll place a smooth cord stair here facing back. <clears throat> behind that one facing right. Behind that one facing forward. And then on top of that, you will place two oak fence. Oak slab, and bring that oak slab forward by one. The back two blocks of this little bathtub, you're leaving a one block out from going left and placing blue carpet. I'm gonna drink all of this water. Eh, maybe not. This is the point in the recording my voice starts to, like, die out a little bit. My throat is just begging for mercy. But I will not give it, because why would I give myself mercy? Come inside of the front room here. It's the kind of curved yellow room that I believe is a living room by classification. That is such an unnecessary word to use in that sentence. <laughs> anyway, can we do anything with the set? We can. We can do a couple things, actually. First off, take the, the back left door, the one on the yellow terracotta wall. Place an oak plank to the right of it. Now, to find this position, you're going to take the window at the front, actually. This one window here. And you're going to trace it back until you're one row behind the pillow quartz, or I guess, no, sorry, two rows behind the pillow quartz where they connect, and then here will be an oak plank. So it's four off the right, five off the front, five off the left, and five off the back. There's no way it's almost perfectly centered, that's wild. And then off the left and back of this block, and I guess also back diagonally to the left of it, you'll place a blue carpet. On the right wall here, behind this row of pillar courts, you're placing just a row of upside down oak slabs off of the second, third, and fourth rows of yellow terracotta. And there'll be two going back. Like so. Um, that is all we can do with our set. That's not bad, though. I'll take that. Clear your inventory and get out. Like gray concrete. 
Spruce trap doors. We almost finished the bottom floor. Which was good. White carpet. No, this is where the inconsistencies really start to show in me, for me at least. Blue wool. Smooth stone slabs. That's so unfortunate. I knew that was going to happen. Paintings. And so you need you need mangrove doors, mangrove slabs, and mangrove trap doors. You also need just birch and oak doors for to finish this room. You'll see why that's annoying if you know why the set works the way that it does and why I'm really mad about that. Anyway, on top of this oak plank that has some blue carpet looks like it just wet itself. You're going to place a light gray concrete on top. All sides of this light gray will be surrounded with spruce trap doors, except for the left face of it. The left face is having a great time. It's the TV screen, in case that wasn't clear. You could technically use a wall for this. I've never tried that. Because it'll give the thing a little bit more of a lip. Anyway, you're surrounding the, the blue carpet with white wool. Except for the corners. The corners you're leaving open. And then you'll just end up kind of going around the rest of the oak plank so you have a, a nice circle. It's not very nice, but it's a circle. It passes. It passes the circle test. From the white carpet, you're leaving a one block gap and you're placing two smooth stone slabs from each of these left ones. Place blue wool off of the left side of it and make it two blocks tall. Off the front of the blue wool and the back of the off the front of the blue wool and smooth stone slab in the back, you're just placing one tall blue wool. Like so. This is the old couch design. The new one is just the, the stair one. This one, I like, don't even know where it came from. I'm going to be honest. I've been using this design for years. But I don't know where it came from. I don't know if I made it or if I stole it or, like, what happened. <laughs> I'm just being genuine there. Anyway, from the... <coughs> the le front left pillar quartz row, that's this one. You're going to place a mangrove door on the block in front of it, except it's going to kind of leave a little gap between it and the pillar quartz. Behind the mangrove door, you're placing a mangrove slab with a mangrove trap door opened up against the left and right of it. Paintings next? I think yes. There's a lot in this room. When I say a lot, I mean seven. Uh, bottom left-hand corner of the red concrete wall. Go up diagonally to the right bow one. Here's that weird yellow and white one. The white, that one, actually. First try for three straight paintings. Let's go. To the right of it, it's that black and white triangle one. Oh, if I got it first try, man, that would have been epic. It is this one that I have currently got right there. Below that is another painting, and it is the Yellow City Skyline one. From the black and white shadowy painting, you're going to count up one and right two. And guess what? Another city skyline. Which is right there. Down diagonally to the right from that, it's that first one that we placed. The weird yellow one with, like, the white U around it. Who is... Oh, never mind. The person that I DM. That would kind of be logical. Uh, anyway, right wall, yellow terracotta. If you're looking at it, you're going to take the top left. It's going to be a half a block. Count down diagonally to the right by one, and you're going to want uh, this guy, actually. This is a yellow dude. One block out moving forward. You want another one block painting, which is that black and white one again with the triangle. That one. If you take the... No, actually, if you take the left painting, which is this yellow guy, you're going to trace it down and place a mangrove slab here. Now, going directions back to normally, in front of this, you're placing a mangrove door... And up diagonally from that mangrove door will be a mangrove slab above the position of the original. Get rid of, I guess, two things. I got our oak door, birch door. Birch door is off the back of this slab, and then oak door is off the left of it, which you're going to need to break it and get it inside to do. Like so. Pretty nice. Skittles agrees. You can't hear her, but she's doing the squeaky thing. Did I see? Okay, I forgot about the closets in the hallway. There's two of them. Well, okay, I'm actually going to tell you to clear your inventory anyway. Even though we will need them again. But that's a problem for when we need them again later, which will not be that long. I'm going to move my phone. Get out of here. No one likes you. Just kidding, I like you. You're fine. You don't really cause me that much annoyance, typically. Depends what's going on. Anyway, that's completely unrelated. 
So, materials you want to start off. We're gonna probably actually ignore the closets. Dark oak stairs. Dark oak fence. That's not dark oak fence. That is. Mangrove stairs. Lime terracotta. And for once, it gets used twice in a video. Oak signs, or it gets used at all, I guess. <laughs> I don't really use it often. Cyan concrete. Oak button. Lanterns. And we're going to go paintings, and we're just going to wipe out all the paintings and the, the rest of the floor, which is just the hallway, by the way. Front right-hand corner of the, the very front here, you're placing an upside-down dark oak stair in this corner facing back. Behind it, one facing forward, like that. Left of this front stair, you're placing a dark oak fence and bringing it up by two. All right, next up, behind the birch door here on the yellow terracotta section, you're placing a cyan concrete with an oak button off the left. On top of the cyan concrete, you're placing a lantern. Um, just checking something quickly. Okay. The... Okay, I just... The colors, for some reason, are not rendering in my brain right now. The iron door, you're placing a mangrove stair off the bottom block. An oak sign off the top block, just put nothing on it. Unless you want to do the O thing where you have like the, it's like 18 gap or 18 spaces, I want to say, between each O and it makes them on either side. I don't remember. Uh, but left of the top block of the iron door, you're breaking the lime, sorry, the light blue concrete and replacing it with a lime terracotta. I got a little ahead of myself. There is a birch sign above this as well, but we'll worry about that hopefully later if I remember, but I, I should. It just has exit and it has lime green cool epicness. Leave a two block out from the mangrove stair, and you're going to place an upside down dark oak stair facing right, I said, not forward. Right of that, place an upside down one facing left. Um. Should we just, like, work as we go? I suppose so. Oh, yeah, there's the, there's the thing. That's so descriptive. You want to take the right side of this dark oak, this right dark oak stair, and you're going to count to the second light blue cone could above it. Place a one block painting here that's that yellow outline white one thing. I don't know what it is still. Up diagonally to the left from it, you're placing a one block painting that is the salmon. And also actually right of the outline painting, you want the same thing going. I'm never getting this again. It's over. My career's done. That's why I retire because I can't get a painting. Can I do that? Frick, I can't. I wanted to see if I could. Just some lime terracotta, whatever. Come on, any day now. It would be really nice if it would be today, though. Specifically, right about n oh, pff, now. Okay, well, I got it twice in a row, so. If only I could have had that luxury before. Anyway, from that bottom painting, you're leaving a four block at moving right, and on the fifth block, you're placing another one blocker. That's the black and white triangle one. I really just got the next one preemptively. That's so rude. Oh, it's being so nice to me today. Down diagonally to the right, it's the uh, the parrot. That's what I'm calling it now. Not the reptile's eye, the parrot. Or the kiwi. Kiwi bird. Uh, I think that's all, actually. This room is empty? I didn't know that. <laughs> Unrelated, but it is. So, let's focus on the front wall now. Go back to the, the corner of the red concrete where we should have started. That's this corner right here. Not the bottom one, but the one up. If you're going across the wall, across the wall here, you're placing right here this red concrete. A one block painting that is the black and white triangle one again. That's my wall. I kind of need that. I don't think I need dark oak stairs though, so I should be fine to just eat that out of existence. From that, you'll go left and you'll place the yellow weird outline one. Is this seriously all of the? Okay, whatever. I got it first try. Up diagonally left, you're placing the one block parrot again. They're all one block. I shouldn't I stop specifying that. There we go. And then up diagonally to the right from that, you're placing the uh, the weird outline one again. I just got that again first try. Okay. Now, we're going to stop with the paintings for a quick second, but it'll make sense why. Other side of this birch door here on the red concrete wall, you're leaving a one block app. Place mangrove stair facing towards the actual back. One block app, mangrove stair, one block app, mangrove stair. 
Metal Mangrove Stair, you'll leave a one block gap moving up from, and you'll place a one block painting. That is the yellow outline one again. There's no way I've gone three for three on those on this wall. That's wild. Anyway, you're going to leave a five block gap to the left. On the sixth block, you will place another one blocker. That is the bird parrot. I got that one first try. Okay. Is that three for three straight? I don't know. You should be two blocks away from this corner, so you'll actually be two blocks away from the corner on the next wall, which is this red concrete wall, and you want the uh, bird again, the parrot. Yay. Leave a two block F on that, and you want the teacup, dude. I don't watch since I've needed that one. Now I won't get it that I need it. And then you'll leave a one block out from that going left, and it will be the yellow city skyline. I feel like there's certain ones that just happen more often. That's not it. I don't know why I autopiloted there. There we go. That is all of the paintings. We don't have the doorway. That's awkward. We need that. We're not done, though, with our inventory set. Because it's never over. That was way more ominous than I meant it to be, but I guess it's funny, so. Uh, come back into the, well, come to the, I guess, staircase. And on top of the light blue concretes for the staircase, or I guess to the right of them, you're placing mangrove stairs facing forward. And you'll stop when you're uh, one past the height of the smooth court slaps. And then the ones in front will all face to the right, like this. And that will give you almost a little bit of a railing here. And it's, it's enough to where you can tell it's a railing, but it's also not too much to where it's taking up half of your staircase, which it would be if I um, did it with full blocks. Or I could have it overhang, but that would also create another whole issue in its own. We're going to place a mangrove stair, and I'll, I'll tell you to come back to this later. However, you're taking the second light blue concrete over, and the middle block in this little pathway, and you're placing a mangrove stair facing back. Again, we will have to come back to this guy later. He's just here now for the, the for the fun of it. Let's go back around to the front. And let's start working on, well, the front. I don't really know what else you want from me. You should start by clearing your inventory. I think that would be smart. And getting out. Birch signs. Glowing sack. Lime dye. Had a brain lapse. Uh, green carpet, green wool, and then you want your doors for your closet. So mangrove door, birch door, oak door, and then mangrove slab. Mangrove slab. That's fine. It's fine. Whatever. I'll tell. I'll just say it's fine. Okay. Now you'll see why I'm so annoyed again. Above the iron door for the the uh, basement. Birch sign. Down a line. Exit in all caps. Right click once with glowing second line die, or it's left click on left trigger on controller. I don't know why it's opposites, but it is. I I never knew that until I knew that. <laughs> so so inspirational. This little dark oak stair thing here, which is a shoe rack, I believe. You're leaving a well, counting to the second more plank to the right of it. You're placing a birch door on the right half of that block, like so. I would place a mangrove slab to the right of it just for the funny, and then a mangrove door on the right side of that slab and an oak door off the front of it, and then you can destroy it and replace it two blocks up. These skulls are so much smaller, it's crazy. That is almost this portion of the hallway done. We don't have beehives, though, which actually exist for some reason now. I don't know why. Okay. Come to this corner of light blue concrete here where the hallway switches. If you were on the or actually on the warped plank to the right of it, you're counting back to... And right by one and placing three green carpet to the right. You're bringing this row of three back with ten rows. If you're looking at the back left one, you'll count forward by two. And this carpet here, you're uh, breaking and replacing with a green wool. Or the warp plank under it, you're replacing with a green wool. Because you want an oak door off of the, I guess, left half of this block. And then you're going to do your closet design again. So it's the mangrove door on the back, the birch door on the front, the mangrove sub above. Not like that, though. <laughs> right there. 
There's actually one more closet. Hooray. It never freaking ends. Uh, this is, I think, where I do want you to think about the design choice here. Because this window is blocked, basically. The bottom of this window is blocked by the closet. However, I just have the mangrove door covering the left half of it like this. So if you want to make the original design for this or push it over, you could. But again, it's just a closet design. That's the mangrove door on the right there. I'm not going through it every time. I'll just say the middle of the closet is right here, except I didn't say middle that time. But you get the point. That mangrove stair I told you to come back to later. You're placing a mangrove door off the front of it. We can't finish it still, though, which is why I'm so mad at uh, everything. Like, give me one more inventory slot, Minecraft, please. But we're going to come back to the front again and run through this hallway. I think one more time. I think we should be able to finish it in one set. But typically when I say that I'm wrong. No, I actually said with the bathroom when I was correct, so. Anyway, you need beehives. Finally. Orange concrete. Acacia door. Item frames. Orange banner. I don't know why I used orange banners, but whatever. Uh, torches. Oak slabs. There's no... There's actually no way. There's there's no way, right? Okay, well, there is way. End rods and shrimp warped hyphae. It does need to be hyphae. We, we can't get the trapdoors again. But we'll just do it when we get back there, so it doesn't matter. But it is kind of funny that that happened again. Anywho, in this hallway, you're gonna actually just basically come right to this corner over here in this, this red concrete corner. And the, the bird parrot thing on the front wall, you're placing two beehives under it. The bottom beehive you're bringing right, which is into this corner, one, and then back one. From this light blue concrete corner here, you're counting back a row and you're placing your two orange concrete with an acacia door off the front. Two orange concrete should be going up, by the way. Bug. I tried to swing at it and I might have missed. Hold on, though. Hold on. Okay. There is no torch, actually, there, which is interesting. From the teacup dude's painting, you want to go... If you're looking at it, you'll go up diagonally to the right with the torch. Get out of here, you stupid bug. This is why no one likes bugs. Or at least I don't like bugs. Above the mangrove slab in the closet, you're placing an oak slab. You're bringing it forward one, leaving a one-block gap, and then placing two opposite on oak slabs. Below the back upside on Oak Slab, you're placing a torch on the first block that you can. Oh, they don't line up, unfortunate. Above the... Mm, never mind, we don't have the door. <laughs> Above the door that doesn't exist yet. Uh, you want to take the top left red concrete on this wall, this back one right here. You're going to count, I guess, from it forward three, and then down one and place a torch. Above the oak door, you're taking the, I guess, the top light blue concrete on the wall and placing another torch. We'll come back there. We just, I'm, I just want us to get rid of torches so we can get out iron doors because I'll show you where the door is here. It's, if you are in the corner, you're, it's the third row over right here. Not like that, though. That's not how a door works. First time. And the floor in here is spruce planks, which we don't have. But I guess if you want to get rid of oak slabs for it, you can. Just so you can fill it in. Make sure this brick is also spruce. And then you'll place an iron door. Above the iron door, item frame, orange banner, rotated... Six times. You could technically do two and get away with it, but... I have the knob on the right, so I will stay true. To it. Okay. This light blue, not light blue, I guess, yeah, this glass pane, or this window and the light blue concrete on this front wall, it's the one just basically at the bottom of the staircase. Going from this perspective, it'll be left, but it'll be towards the red concrete wall row. You'll place two end rods on top of one another with a strip warp hyphae on top. It's a little lamppost. I feel like the top of it, is this like the moon one? I think it's the moon one. Is there a moon one? Am I getting my games confused? I don't know what I'm doing. Get rid of anything in your inventory but the beehives and get out mangrove trap doors. Off the right and left of this mangrove stair here for this this chair, you're placing a mangrove trap door opened up against it. 
Now, if you're kind of up against the staircase here, you'll counter the second warped left of the chair, which I guess is technically the first that you can place on, and you'll place a beehive. Actually, you'll place a row of beehives from front to back. The front row ends up being two total, so just plus one. Middle is one total, so plus nothing. And then back one is plus two, so three total. Why did I flip it? I don't know. The room behind the oak door is blank. However, there is a door blocking this off. Did I just forget about this room? No, it is blank. The only thing that's in here is there's a, a little hook for the keys. No, this door isn't blocked off. It's a key door. Right, because you get the key in this room, and then you open the door with that key. Right. It's all coming back to me now. I don't know why I said now so specifically. Clear your inventory. Before you go to the front, though, get out another brick fence and soul lanterns. I pranked you. Come to the red concrete corner where both walls are red concrete. And you'll kind of just go towards the front back until you're... One block before the two doors that are in line, which is this warped row right here, and just in the middle of the hallway, you'll look up, break this up, sit on smooth cord slab, replace it with another brick fence, and place a soul lantern underneath. If you continue going and come to this red concrete corner, and you'll count back diagonally to the left by two, and you'll do the same here. There's also one just two blocks behind the, the front door, so the third slab back right here behind the front door, like that. Now, we're just going to kind of go around the rooms in a, in a slither. Actually, let's start with this front... Never mind, we can't get in there. Let's start with this front right room, though. The yellow terracotta red concrete mixed one. And there is one. Of course, it's not direct... Well, I guess there is no direct center. I Can I, like, go through a door properly? It's directly above the blue carpet to the left of the TV, which is this one right here. It's right there. And then you can leave this room. And Actually, I'm going to tell you to go straight back into the... The bedroom. This does make it weird because we're going to have to, like, backtrack, but might as well. There is actually none in the bathroom or the room to the right, so... If you want to elytra or sneak your way into this room to the left, which is this little storage room, you will... There's actually two things we have to do in this room. So, if you are... From the mangrove door that blocks this back doorway, you will count left one and forward two. And if you're right here, you'll look straight up, and this will be your light in the ceiling. And then the other thing is from the front left-hand corner, you will count back one and right two and break this slab and the one to the right. This is where that door is that, like, drops to the floor from the... Whatever the room above. Why is the floor... Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> That's a little strange, but whatever. That'll be important when we get there. I'll talk about it if I remember. Anyway, room in front, the kitchen. The mangrove stair to the right of the kitchen table, directly above that is where the light is in this room. And, um, yeah, that's your first floor complete. Now, let's head up on to the second floor and then we can start with this room alrighty so to start off the second floor the materials you want to get out are warp planks red concrete yellow concrete I think you'll need yeah you will need some light blue concrete Birch doors. Hold on, give me like a quarter of a second. Acacia stairs. That's a weird one, but it's one for sure. And perhaps you need yellow terracotta. I don't recall. Yes, you do need yellow terracotta. Wherever it is. It's in the terracotta section. I'll say... Also get out smooth quartz slabs, and what is the other stair? It's mangrove. Okay, I thought it was mangrove. We're going to actually start with that mangrove stair, and again, it's probably good for you to have your elytra here. But the balcony door here, unless we already, okay, no, we didn't. This balcony door, the balcony on the right side of the house, you want to place a mangrove stair on the outside. You will have to find a way back in the house once you've done that. 
Now, now you want to get rid of your mangrove stairs and get out spruce planks because, uh, unlike what I well, you can see I've I've screwed up a little bit here. Unlike what I was thinking, uh, the entire floor is not actually warped. So if you come to the front here, this uh, curved yellow room here, essentially. I suppose the, the most logical way to do this is this the yellow concrete back here where you have that birch door that kind of leads to the, I guess, the outdoors, the grass touching area. Uh, you want to make a line of spruce planks going all the way to the back from that. And we're just going to split this up a couple more ways. This yellow, or this pillar quartz row connecting the yellow terracotta and yellow concrete you will bring basically spruce planks along. I guess the red concrete under it, actually. And you will end up stopping once you have reached the end of your yellow terracotta, which is actually right where I have it, which is perfect. And so you'll take this row and you'll just connect it, I guess, forward and backward. And... To mark out the rest of that room, you will take, I'll call it, okay, so in the, the light blue concrete wall here, you have this, or you, I guess the light, where the light blue, con, light blue concrete wall ends, you're taking the pillar quartz at the bottom here and just bringing it out with two spruce planks. And then you'll bring that spruce plank towards the front of the build by one and then connect it right. That's just a little marker. You're taking the spruce plank just to the side of this, which is this one right here, and you're bringing it left by five. You're then connecting, or not, I guess, connecting it forward, but you're bringing it towards the front by nine. And I guess if you want to just for fun do a tenth and then connect it straight to the right, you can. So, essentially, I will kind of, I guess, decode this monstrosity that we just made. These two are warped pl or spruce planks, sorry. These two boxes, the box in front, and I guess the two boxes in front as well, which is just like these four. Those are all spruce planks inside of them. I know that was kind of a stupid way to do that, but I wasn't planning on having to do it this way at all, because I was like, oh, okay, the entire floor is sport planks, and I'm glad I checked, because it's it's definitely not. But once you fill that in, which I will just, I will tell you the next step right now. Um, the rest of your floor, or second floor, the floor of the second floor, wants to be warped planks. Now, when you're filling this in, two things have to happen. Well, I guess three if you include filling in your floor. But hold on, I'll finish this and then I'll actually fully explain. Well, actually, for one, for any pillar quartz that is in your way, which I won't have any because I fricked up, uh, you will get rid of. So, like, there's a pillar quartz row here, you'll get rid of it and replace it with warp planks. The other thing is the staircase going down to the first floor. Just make sure to leave that open. Just Your warp planks will go directly on top of your uh, ups and downs smooth quartz subs. I'll show you kind of an overhead of the part that gets weird uh, once I have finished, but, um, yeah. And then I think once the f first... I don't know how I'm planning on splitting this up. I'm probably doing first two floors and then, like, next two and then the final two. I don't think there's... I think there's more than six floors. But it'll end up working out that way, basically. I'll show you what your outline will look like from an overhead as well once I am finished. Again, I did already say that, but I'll say it again. Also, make sure um, the, like, brick floored storage closet, the, like, weird gap in the ceiling stays open, because that is important. We'll get to that later. That will be probably one of the later things we do, because I think we're doing... We're going to go front to back, probably, when we do our rooms. So, yeah, essentially... How high can I get? I can get to here. This is what you should have, basically. The two kind of spruce planks that are straying out here at the, the back right, you can technically make these warp planks if you want, because I know it looks a little goofy the way that it is, but yeah, just like that, basically. And then everything else is warped that isn't in this shot. 
Now, let's start making some outlines and stuff. First off, come back into your staircase room, and what you want to do is... Essentially, we're, we're gonna, I guess, this back wall will be the back wall. That's crazy. The, the, the red concrete at the back of the room will be the back wall. I think it would be a little, a little bit more of a comprehensive way to say that. Anyway, that's not really important, but what you want to do is you want to turn around and I suppose it's easier to actually ignore that direction. So you're going to take this left gap. It's the larger one that you have and basically going, I guess, left to right from this perspective, you're placing a red concrete birch door on the back half of that block with the handle on the right side from this perspective, and then it'll just be three red concrete. On the other side, you will just need one row and then you'll have the two open directly up against the corner. This warped plank right here does want to be a pillar course. I think you can get rid of your spruce planks without any repercussions. And make it a pillar course there. Anyway, the, the red concrete you can just bring up to the ceiling, and then the birch door can also be brought up to the ceiling with red concrete. This little two block gap here at the, I guess, right side again if you're looking towards the front, you're going to just place acacia stairs in the bottom of the gap, which is right here. You're then going to place one, two, three, four, five, no, my console just, never mind, it's back. One, two, three, four, yes, five acacia stair rows going kind of up diagonally towards the front. So one, two, three, four, five, and it should end in line with the pillar courts like this. You will leave the pillar courts there and make sure you have on top of all of it at least four rows of yellow concrete, which you're just going to need it on this side here. And stop once you're one beyond the staircase. Get rid of, I guess, your acacia stairs briefly and get out acacia planks. Well, not briefly, getting rid of them in general. And placing a row of acacia planks just keeping going behind the, I guess, behind the stairs from our perspective. The right half of this gap, which should be the only half that you have as a gap, you're going to place a wharf plank in the floor with a birch door on top of it. Handle should be on the right side and it should be on the back half of the block. You will want light blue terracotta on top of this, at least two blocks, and uh, what do you want to get rid of for that? I guess pillar quartz block, and again, get a light blue terracotta, and then just place two on top. Fill in the ceiling here, and with upside down smooth quartz slab, at that fourth row of concrete and terracotta, and whatever. There you go, I just figured it would be nice to get this out of the way. The red concrete room itself also has an upside down smooth quartz slab ceiling. The only thing that I would tell you that is important, for one, do not cover the pillar quartz that is visible right here, and for two, do not cover up the windows. And it's just going right up against the mangrove planks. Uh, obviously the windows are, well, they're windows for a reason. You don't typically have windows going into a layer of drywall. Ceiling, are ceilings made of drywall? I don't know what they're made of. I'm not a ceiling expert, unfortunately. But they look like they're the same. But it would also be called it call it would also be weird to call a ceiling drywall, so I don't really know. But anyway. There you go. There is something we're gonna have to destroy here later, but that's a problem for later. Moving through the only birch door in this room. Do we wanna actually burn no, we can do that later. Uh for the hallway here. If you're looking towards the front again, you should have a right wall, and there's a birch door on the right wall. That's basically your only marking. It's on this side right here. You can see where I am highlighting. Anyway, behind the yellow concrete, you're going to place an additional four yellow concrete. Birch door with the handle facing forward. And then eight more yellow concrete. You can bring it towards the left from this perspective, again, with a yellow concrete, birch door with the handle facing right, and then this row of pillar course will want to be a row of yellow concrete. I'll tell you to bring up the walls in a little bit here. You're taking this kind of corner of yellow concrete here, and what you're doing with it is you're bringing it 
Well, right with one yellow concrete. And then you're leaving a seven block gap. And on the eighth block, which would be kind of where the warp starts, except you'll be just in front of the warp or just to the side of it. You're placing a yellow concrete. You're bringing it towards the front of the build with two yellow terracotta. Birch door on the right half of that block from our perspective with the handle facing back. And then one more yellow terracotta. That yellow concrete again, what you want to do is you want to bring it right. By four. And then you'll have a pillar quartz on the end, which is get, get rid of your light blue terracotta again and place pillar quartz on the end. And then you'll bring it back towards the back, or I guess towards you with a light blue concrete. Burst door on the left half of the block with the handle facing towards the windows there. And then you'll just connect back with light blue concrete. This final wall of light blue concrete, these two spruce planks you want to leave open, but the uh, rest of the warped in this row will be light blue concrete on top. With this wall, it is important that you make this two block thing a, a two by two gap right there, so, right there, like so. That's just a minor thing, but we'll do more with that later. Directing our attention back to the front, you're going to take the yellow terracotta here at the right. And it's the, the yellow terracotta that is a part of the curved bit. It's kind of where it meets with the light blue concrete wall. And you want to bring it across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You want to bring it across by eight. That's the capsule key. You'll then place a birch door on the, I guess, this half of the block, which is the back, technically, from the front. And then the handle will be on the left side from our perspective, and then you'll place a yellow terracotta. All of your concretes will be brought up by four, and then the doors will be brought up with three. Any gaps that you have that I didn't specify, just leave open. But yeah, this will give us our layout for our second floor. And then we can do cool things with our light. What is happening? I don't know what's happening. I heard a noise, and it was a weird noise, and now I'm... Consu confused and concerned, both at the same time. Almost just, like, made up a new word there. That would have been crazy. <laughs> Throw that one in the dictionary. Make sure you, uh, don't, like, bring all of this up with five as well, or the, the four, I mean. The little gap in your light blue concrete wall, because, you know, then things would be a little out of scale for height. I mean, I guess you could. You would just have to destroy it later. Which kind of would make it pointless. But is that door wrong? Wait, what is happening? Okay, you actually want this to be a a uh, spruce plank, or yeah, spruce plank under this door. I don't know why I have it as a warped plank. So I guess get rid of your acacia planks and just fix the thing under the door. Make sure you know which way the handle is facing, aka it's towards the actual back of the build. I don't know how I didn't catch it. My bad. I think that's all you need from your concrete colors. Although what I will tell you to do is in line with the top row of terracotta slash concrete, you're going to fill in all of your roofs in with upside down smooth quartz slabs. Uh, I was going to maybe throw a catch at you, but I'll just tell you to destroy it later because I know there's like probably like four blocks or something you have to destroy. It's not much, but... I will say, now this is just a a little bit of a thing to get you thinking about. Am I in? I am in the room. Yeah, okay. So, where the, you know where that bird, or that upside down door is in this room right here? It's like somewhere over there. Well, we'll actually place that in a second. But I have the smooth court slab next to it removed. Or I guess off of it removed. Uh... That's kind of a just a debatable thing because you may want it removed or you may want it there. It doesn't matter because when I originally made this floor, um, sh or uh, yeah, shift sneak or whatever was not a thing in Bedrock, so that's just a thing. Although there is actually a thing that uses it later. I think I might have changed it actually. I don't. Or I think it didn't, but I think I changed it like recently to have it 
you sh uh, shift snake, but um, or I guess the the technical uh, that's not even the right term. If you know what I'm talking about, though, the the short crouching that's what it is. Short sneak, short sneak is what I was thinking of. I was just confusing it with the combination of swift sneak. I think I'm not really sure. Anyway. I bought that much time to finish this. Nice. So, we're going to start from the back and work our way forward. So, if you're in the Red Conquer room, you should clear your inventory and get out. Hold on, I'm stalling. Let me stall in peace. Let me get through the door in peace, actually. That would be more important. Anyway, you need in this room. For one, you need a torch. It's like... Not for this room, actually, but it is connected to this room, and I don't want to forget it, so. Mangrove fence. Iron bars. Chains. Dark oak trap doors. Polished deep slate blocks, I'll say. Do we need slabs? No, we don't need slabs. I was just making sure that, if we, that we didn't need both. Uh... Oak slabs. I suppose paintings will be nice to get out of the way. And... What will I call it? Orange carpet? Sure, orange carpet. Why not? So. How do I want this to be oriented? Let's call the wall that I'm looking at the front wall. The one with the birch door and the two staircases. Now, for one, you're going to want to actually surround the mangrove one and the floor with mangrove fence along at least the left and front. Again, making sure that you understand what I'm talking about with the directions. I'll stay consistent this time, I swear. The three fence here on the left, this little left row, you're going to bring each one up with three iron bars per fence. If you counter the third fence over to the right, which is this one. So it's just a one block gap from the previous thing. You're going to place three iron bars on top of this fence. Bring that row of iron bars forward a row, including also bringing the fence forward with an iron bar, which it doesn't connect, but that's fine. And then you will place three rows of three tall chains in front of that. With dark oak trap doors on top of each chain. And then in front of that, you can place two more rows of four tall iron bars. Just like that. Above the dark oak trap doors, break the smooth quartz slabs and replace them with polished deep slate. That's the funny thing with the, uh, the thing above, or the, uh, whatever it is, the, the roof above. And this clips through it. I don't know why they didn't make the asset, like, cut off or something. They could have just made literally another asset. Or made, like, it only visible from one side? I don't know, man. I I shouldn't question it. Okay, anyway. On the right wall, which is this one, I'll say from the, the bottom right-hand red gun grid here, you want to count up to and back to, which will be this block. You'll place an up, or sorry, a right side up oak slab here, and then one in front of it, or behind it, I should say. You'll count forward an additional two blocks, and then up one, and you'll place an oak slab here with another one behind it again. I'm mixing the directions. It's fine. That's what you should have, basically, and I'll highlight this red concrete in between just so you can see what's going on. I suppose continuing with this wall, actually in front of this bottom oak slab thing, so this red concrete here, you're going to place a one block painting on it, will be the yellow city skyline. Darn, I needed that one next, unfortunate. And then you'll go, from this perspective, it'll be up diagonally to the right, but it's technically up diagonally forward with another one block painting, and this one is the yellow one with the outline, that's that one. Looks like a computer screen, I don't know. On the front wall, there are three on this side. So if you're looking at this wall, you're going to... Let's say this is the bottom left corner. 
You don't actually want the bottom left. I don't know why I use that example. Come to the bottom right, at least on this side of the iron bars, and you'll counter the second red concrete up, and you'll place a one block painting here. That's the thing that I call a camel, but it's not a camel. That one. Up diagonally left from that, you will place a yellow city skyline. I almost autopiloted again to the same wrong painting for this particular painting. I don't know why I keep doing that. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no, it's all downhill. There we go. And then you'll go up diagonally to the right from that, and you'll place the yellow weird outlined one like this one. Perfect. If you're looking still forward, you'll just shift yourself to the right a little bit, get through the slats, and you will, on the third block over of red concrete at eye level, you'll place another one block quote-unquote camel painting with another one actually directly on top of the same painting. I don't know if this was intentional or not. Oh yeah, it is, because these are the golden apple paintings. I think. I don't know what else they would be, because I know there's a lot of golden apple paintings in this room. This one is one that I always struggle with, I feel like. There we go. Up diagonally to the left from that, you will place a one blocker. That's the yellow city skyline again. Come back to the bottom one, leave a one block at moving right. Uh, you'll guess what it is. It's camel painting. Not camel. Camel. There we go. And then you'll go up diagonally to the right with the salmon bowl. Up diagonally to the right again with the yellow city skyline. And then you'll take the salmon bowl and you'll go down diagonally to the right from it and place the yellow one with the white outline. Nice. Uh, one more wall of a couple of paintings. And then... There's a couple more things I want to do before we clear inventory. So, right... Technically left wall, I guess. If you're looking at it, bottom left corner, that's this red concrete. You will count right by... Four. And up one, and here you'll place a salmon bowl painting. Yes, I was just making sure that I didn't get my math wrong. Right of it, you'll place another one blocker that is the uh, bird, the parrot. Come on. This is brutal. But also funny, there we go. From that painting, you will count up to and left one, and you'll place the yellow city skyline. Then leaving a one black at moving le left from that, not right, you're going to place the teacup dude. Yay, I got him first try. Alright, let's finish up with what we can do. Orienting yourself as normal, where this is the back wall again. With the door. You'll come to the front left-hand corner, and you'll count back diagonally to the right by one, and place an oak plank here. This will be important later. On the other side of the chains, we've got a couple things we can do. First off, directly right of this lone iron bar, you're placing another oak plank. Bringing, bring it forward with three orange carpet. And bring each of those carpets right by three each. Now, there are two torches we can place. One of them is this row of pillar quartz that you can see from the staircase. You're going to take the... Not the leftmost one, but one to the right, and the red concrete above it you're placing a torch off of. Also, up the acacia stairs, you're uh, taking one of these yellow concretes. If you're looking at the yellow concrete, it's, or sorry, the pillar quartz, actually, it's the left one here. You're placing the torch on. Essentially, it's in line with the door. Just a block lower than the, the floor of it, or the, uh, the base of it, I should say, in line with the floor. Nice. Uh, is there anything else we can do with this set? There might actually be. There is something. I'm glad that I actually thought of that, because that's such an obscure thing to check. But, uh, hence, I think I'm used to the weird obscure things. So, if you're... You'll come to the front right-hand corner, and if you're highlighting this top red concrete here, you will break the two that are from this perspective right of it, which are these two red concretes. You will break two rows down, and I guess the pillar court's above it. In the middle, I guess the, the middle two blocks on either side, you're going to place dark oak trap doors and open them up against the red concrete. 
this is just like the entrance where the painting f is uh not here i guess anymore it's dropped down we won't do this room till probably much later because i think probably what i'll end up doing is the whole second floor and then we'll go up and do this like branch of rooms which will lead us on a fun little journey um so yeah you can clear your inventory and get out that's a banner pattern purple banner beehives dark oak fence pillar quartz block end rods oak trap door lever and I'll call it red nether brick stairs and dark oak stairs. We're going to have to do a quick switch as well because there's one more material I want to use. That happens so much, I swear to God. This oak plank here that's next to that lone iron bar, you're placing a purple banner off the right of it. The only other oak plank in the room, which is this one in the, the far left corner, you're placing an oak trap door on top of. I suppose we should use this since we're here now for measurement. Right of it, place a dark oak fence. Right of the fence, place a beehive, and then you'll go back diagonally to the... Forward diagonally to the right of the beehive, actually. It'll be there, up against the wall. Just bring the dark oak fence up by two. On this side of the room still, you'll take these two paintings that are basically at eye level, and just behind the second one, you're placing a lever. Decide which direction you want this. If you have it up, you should leave this gate as is. If you have it down, uh, delete the gate? How does this gate, does this gate go up or swing out? No, this one goes up. The only one that I think swings out is the one... I forgot what I was saying. The one, like, over there in the, the between the, uh, or, where, or I guess where you get the first umbrella. Still on the right side of this room, I don't know why, or the left side of this room, I don't know why I went to the right. You're taking the backmost row of iron bars, and you're taking this bottom one, and left of it, you're placing an end rod on the floor. Bring it up with another end rod, and then a pillar quartz block. For the little funny thing, come back to the dark oak trap doors where you have this, like, gap into the next, or into the far back area of the house. At the bottom here, you're placing a set of dark oak stairs to face into each other in this gap. Below those stairs, you're placing a pair of red nether brick stairs that face towards the... I guess the, the acacia stairs. And then underneath it, you need an upside down set of stairs that face towards the wall. And then you'll end up placing another set of red nether brick stairs just out from that like this. This is not a fun thing to place, but... Yeah, just like that. Get rid of literally anything for a quick second and get out dark oak planks. And just at the top of this uh, gap here, you're just gonna where I told you to break the pillar court, you're placing dark oak planks. Nice. That's one room done. Fairly simple. Heading into the hallway, I would clear your inventory first. And this is a fairly easy room. But I think we'll pair this with another kind of room. It's not really a room, I guess. But you want to get out paintings... Oh, this is such a huge set of materials for this room. It's crazy. Item frame. Clock. Lime terracotta. And specifically structure void. That That's it. That's all you need for this room and this little outer room. We'll actually start with the outer room because I just want to... I don't know. I just feel like doing this right now. If you're... So first off, the, the wall. Wow, that's so simple. If you're looking at this yellow concrete wall again... Come to what you would look at it as the bottom left corner. That is this one. You'll count up by one, and this yellow concrete... Let me make sure you can do this. Okay, yeah, you can. You're going to break it and replace it with a structure void. Place a one-block painting on that structure void, and you want it to be the yellow one with the outline again. We'll kind of fix the gapping and stuff around this when we get to that point. Whenever I can get the freaking painting. There we go. From it, you'll count right by two, and you'll place the, like, black and white shadow triangle painting. Which 
is that one. It's quicker than I expected. Below it, you will place the green little teacup guy. It's my favorite. Love that guy. From the triangle shadow one up diagonally to the right, you want... Actually, up diagonally, both left and right, you want a salmon bowl painting. It's interesting it's the same. Oh, right, because it's a face. Duh. This is like, I'm pretty sure Hello Neighbor is the only thing that I actually do the paintings logically for. I was building something. Well, I guess Island 2 I do it for, but I was building something and I just like placed paintings. And I was like, yup, that's good. It was definitely a game thing in Minecraft. I don't remember. Uh, on the left wall, actually, in this room, it's a fun thing. It's a fun thing. From the bottom, I guess... At eye level, you'll take this front yellow con. Greet and you'll count back by two. This block, you want a one block painting, and it will be the yellow outline one, which is the one I got. One block at moving back, salmon bowl painting. Oh my god, I'm two for two. One block at back, it's the parrot painting. Oh man, imagine three for three, though. That'd be crazy. This is why I hate paintings. I can just show you from a distance as well when it's done if I happen to be going faster than which that's already out the window. There we go. One block at back from that, you want the little teacup guy. Now I'm not going to be able to get him either. There we go. One block at back from that, you want the salmon bowl again. One block at back from that, you want the yellow one with the white outline again. And then on the other side of the porch door, which is this door right here, you want the quote-unquote camel. That's all of the paintings in this room. Or, er, technically, yes. The birch door on the right wall, I guess the back more one, you're gonna, if you're looking at it, you'll up diagonally to the right of it, place an item room with a clock in it. Along the ceiling at the back of the room, you will take the back left smooth quartz sub, that's this one, break it, replace it with a lime terracotta. One black app to the right, you're doing the same, and then you're placing item frames on the underside. This is a set of eyes, um... Yeah, I don't really think I have anything else to say about it, it's a set of eyes. Anyway, you'll enter your room, or this room to the right here, which is... It's split up into two, bas basically two rooms. Which will, I guess, maybe do simultaneously. We'll see how our inventory space works. So, for the materials you want in this room, assuming I can get through the freaking door, you want to get out. Mangrove stairs. Oak planks. White carpet. Blue carpet. Cyan wool. Lever. Hey, look, it's back. I don't know why I say it's back. It's a lever. Birch door. I forgot to do that door earlier, so we'll do it now. And I'll call it chains. That's unfortunate. We need. We don't have enough for that. And what else can I say? What like else is there in this room to do? There's literally nothing. I'll just call it... I'll call it an 8 then for now. Because we have such a weird set to where it's not really helpful to get anymore. Okay, first off. If you stand, I guess, where this little light blue concrete gap is. Oh, you... Okay, never mind, that's fine. If you stand right here, you'll see three doors. All three of these doors from this side want to be... Want to have a mango stair boarding them up. Like so. This gap here at the back where you have this like seven block gap, you're just gonna fill the whole thing with vertical chains. And make sure you, you just wanna go up as high as you can. It will have like a half a block gap at the top of this fine. This is the one that flips instead of going up through the ceiling, by the way, is what I was thinking earlier. There you go. Right of the gap, if you're looking at it, you'll take uh, the second yellow concrete over, which is this one, and you'll place a lever on it. Doesn't really matter if it's flicked up or down for this one. 
Because I think it should have the same effect anyway. Now, from the mangrove stair at the left, which is this one. If you're highlighting it, you want to start by counting right by four and back by two. And going back, you'll place a white carpet, mangrove stair facing right, white carpet. Then you'll go back diagonally to the right with a white carpet right to forward diagonally to the right with a white carpet forward to forward diagonally to the left with a mangrove stair facing back technically and then left with two white carpet that's where you should have in case you can tell i'm saying the chain wall is the back of the room i should have specified that but i forgot to in the back right hand corner of this opening in, in, in this inside of the white carpet you'll place an oak plank you'll bring it left by one and bring either of those forward by one each and then fill in the remaining gap with blue carpet off of the right and back white carpet th rows of three you're placing a mangrove stair off the middle one that faces towards the oak planks so the gapping is almost even actually it's just a little weird with the spacing of things. Now. Above the back right block on this table, that's this oak plank. You're going to look straight up, break this smooth quartz slab, and replace it with a cyan wool. Where your birch door is here at the back right, the one that leads into the security office, you will take not the smooth court slab directly above the doorway, but one more out and break this one. This one's important that you break, or important that you remember it for the third floor. Now, I'll make sure to make it clear when we get there, but just keep it in mind if you can. What you want to do is, from the front of this right wall, you're going to count to the third light blue concrete back. That's this one. Break it and the one above it, and place a birch door in this with the handle facing forward. Like so. If you would like to break this smooth cord slab, you can. It doesn't matter. I have it broken on mine. However, again, as I was mentioning earlier with the um, the short sneak, it technically doesn't matter because you can still get through the doorway. If you have a couple boxes here and it's like... I didn't mean to break the door. That was not what I was trying to do. If you stack a couple boxes here, then, you know, you can do it that way. I don't know what this door is technically for, though, because stacking boxes to get up there is so freaking annoying. I tried it once. Believe me, I tried it once. Anyway. I believe that's all we can do with this inventory set. So, clear inventory, and we're going to focus on the little weird opening at the front of this room. You want to get out for it waxed oxidized cut copper slabs it's a mouthful yellow concrete smooth quartz stairs smooth quartz blocks crimson planks and i guess to start working on the next area you want to get out acacia planks Cyan banners, beehives, and paintings. That almost finishes everything, actually, that we need. So first off, if you come in, uh, come into this little under the staircase room, you're gonna have a row of yellow concrete you need to fill here in the corner, just behind the row with the block missing for the painting. Also, I guess directly across from said gap for the painting, uh, you'll place a three tall row of crimson planks is it three tall or is it two tall neither it's two and a half okay so break the top one and make it a slab and you can just get rid of your crimson planks for that underneath or on the underside of all the acacia stairs you'll place upside down smooth quartz stairs and when you hit the top here you'll just have three rows of smooth quartz blocks under the top there like so Top this off by just placing upside down uh, waxed oxidized cut copper slabs 
under the light blue concrete here, so you have to shift sneak in here. However, I don't have the lever. I don't remember where the lever is. Um, I think it's to the right of it, of the crimson, actually, but I don't have it here, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna make it because it's not there. I'm only playing that game just because I find that a lot more more better. For sure. Okay, making sure there's nothing else we can do with this. So there is. Okay, I was just checking the bathroom to make sure there was, see if there's anything we could do there. For one, in this little like weird hallway-ish room, you're taking the back right-hand corner and you're counting left by three and placing three acacia planks left. Let's a cyan banner off the uh, back of each. There is a flower pot on here, but we can't put that there yet. Back left-hand corner of the room, you will count forward diagonally to the right by one and place a beehive. Go forward one and then right one and take that corner and bring it up with another beehive. As far as paintings are concerned, they are both on the left wall. They're the only paintings between this, I guess, large co combined room. If you're on the bottom right yellow terracotta, if you're looking at this wall, you'll count up diagonally to the left by one and place a triangle painting. Shadow one. That one. Up diagonally to the left from that, you'll place uh, the teacup dude. I guess I'll use paintings as placeholders instead of blocks. There we go. Inside the bathroom, there's a few things I want to just quickly wipe out because we can add them, so we might as well. Underneath the window on the curved bit, or I guess the, the glass pane window on the curved bit, you're going to place a smooth cord stair facing towards you. Now moving actually towards you, you'll place one facing right, and then you'll bring that right with two facing back, and then go actually back with one facing left, and then you can go left with one facing forward. Like that. On the right wall, in not quite in the corner, actually, one block out of the corner, you're placing an opposite on smooth cord stair. Right there. I have to sneeze. <coughs> I told you. Oh, that hurt my soul. I feel like that's generally what happens when I sneeze, though. It, like, reverberates through every bone in my body, and I'm left with a, a shivering pain. Anyway. Uh, come into what should be your... I forgot the name of it. The security office room. Yeah. What you want to do is the yellow concrete wall in here. You'll take the the top pillar courts that you can actually place something off of, and you'll count right by one from it. And here you'll place a one block painting that is the yellow city skyline. Right of that, you want the parrot bird thing. And then down diagonally to the right from that, you want the salmon bowl. Wow, that was, what, a three for five? I'm insane. I think that's all the paintings in this room. Would you look at that? It is. I think that's actually all we can do with our set as well. Yes, perhaps. Clear your inventory. Get out light blue concrete. Birch trap doors. An acacia. Oh, we had an. Uh, okay, actually, no, get out acacia slabs. It's fine, it's fine. Because we need acacia slabs anyway. Mangrove stairs, mangrove slabs, mangrove door, mangrove trap door, and I'll call it like gray concrete and spruce trap door. Looking at this really, really long light blue co actually, we're gonna ignore the wall for a second. Hole in the floor, uh, just fill it with birch trap doors uh, facing towards each other. One row towards the actual back, you're placing a light blue concrete wall. This should be just between this door in the floor and the door on the wall. That's a really weird sentence. And then you're just going to also break your smooth court sub ceiling. I kind of forgot this wall was here. Now, looking back at the long wall, you're going to go, if you're looking at it, right to left. And you're leaving a three block gap, and on the fourth one, you're placing an upside down mangrove slab bring it left with three upside down stairs that face towards you and then another upside down slab then then place an acacia plank with just your slabs 
Now, so I'm going to give you directions. Top, bottom, left, and right. This is from our perspective. Basically, I'm going to tell you to place a light gray concrete, and I'll tell you a couple of those four directions. That's the sides you want trap doors off of. And when I give you directions such as diagonals, it will be based from the light gray concrete itself. So, on top of the acacia plank, light gray concrete. Left, right, and top are your spruce trap doors. The middle of the desk, actually, which is the just the middle stair, you're placing a light gray concrete on top of with trapdoor left and right. From that light gray concrete, you're going up diagonally to the left by one, and you want right, left, and top. From that top light gray concrete, you'll count right two and up one and place a light gray concrete, and you want left and right trapdoors. From that light gray concrete, down diagonally to the right by one, and you want left, bottom, and right. From the original light gray concrete you placed, you can count up two and left one, place a light gray concrete, and again, you want right, bottom, and left. That will give you this. Nice. Now what you can do is you want to, from the rightmost mangrove, upside down mangrove slab from the de on the desk thing, you'll leave a one black cat moving towards you and place an acacia slab. Going left from it, you'll place a mangrove trap door that you'll open on the left half of that block, which is right there. Left of that, you want a mangrove stair that'll face towards the desk, and then a mangrove trap door opened up against the right side of that stair. On the back side of the stair, you're placing a mangrove door. That's basically this room done, except for a few minor details. So you do want to clear your inventory one more time in here. And get out green carpet, sea lanterns, and a stone button. That's all you need, I think. Unless I'm missing something catastrophic. So... Uh, bottom row of, or bottom yellow concrete here at the bottom, I guess the bottom left here on this wall with the paintings. You're counting up one and placing a stone button. From, I'll say from the birch door at the, like, right half in this little divot. You're leaving a one block gap and moving left, you will place seven green carpet. Bring that whole row of carpet back a row. For the sea lanterns, I suppose it's best to take the carpet for this. The back left-hand green carpet, not actually that one. One to the right, you're going to just look up from this one, place a sea lantern in the ceiling, and then back diagonally to the left by one as well. That's another room down. We have one left, and then we're done with the floor. Actually, we need to put the flower pot, too, and then the lighting, which we did the light in this room, so we don't actually have to come back in here, because this one is kind of annoyingly blocked off. So, find your way out of here. However that may be, I'm going to use elytra. You could technically technically go through the floor and then go all the way around. But I just like elytra glitching. Or not glitching, but flying. Get out for this for the next stuff, once you've cleared your inventory. Flower pot and lily of the valley. I'll just get out everything, I guess, for the floor. Maybe? Actually, yeah, we can get everything to finish the floor. Stone brick wall. Jungle trap door. Blue carpet. Polished deep slate. And then you want nether brick fence. And I'm gonna say get out lanterns and soul lanterns. Because I see there's a lantern in this room. Maybe it is just lanterns on this floor. I don't know why you soul for the first floor. Oh no, there is a soul lantern. Okay, so there is both. Good, I'm not that dumb. Okay, anyway, so on the, I believe it is the right half, I don't know, I just vanished real quick. Yeah, on the right half of this little drawer thing, you're placing a flower pot with a lily of the valley in it. Why is that facing that way? Oh, that's how it is on the original, never mind. I thought it was facing the other way for some reason. Anyway. Coming into your bathroom. Whoa. Coming into the bathroom, you have the, the tub that's a 3 by 2 You're taking the front left from... Our perspective and you're bringing this up with through no two stone brick walls and then bringing that top one right one above the smooth quartz stair here on the right you're leaving a one black half above it and placing a jungle trap door opened up against the wall 
I don't recall if this is a sink or a toilet. I feel like it's a sink, because I don't think there's a toilet in here, for some reason. Anyway. The left two stairs at the, I guess, front of the bathtub, you're going to leave a one black at from in place, two blue carpet moving out from each, so you have a two by two. You're going to actually take the middle four blocks in this room, and along the ceiling, you're breaking those middle four smooth quartz slabs and replacing them with polished deep slate. This should help us with a measurement later, because I believe that is lined up, or should be lined up, unless I, like, didn't line it up for some reason, but I don't know. Anyway. So, from this row of four polished deep slate, you'll take the right more middle one. And count back by two, or towards the actual front of the build by two, and break this uh, nether brick fence lantern underneath. Coming out into the hallway. Now, I'm gonna do everything direction-wise from the actual, like, front of the build. So just kind of make sure you know that that way is back, which is, for me, it's up on the X. Which is always a nice thing to use. Anyway. In this hallway, it's basically directly above the middle of the drawers, except back a block. So right here, and it's just normal lantern. This room straight behind, it's, if you're looking at the cyan wool, it's back to and right one. In the hallway, if I can get there easily. Hold on, wait, this is not... I'm just bouncing, okay, there we go. It is, I believe it's in between the eyes, but I will confirm that... It's actually, it's basically in between the eyes and two blocks towards the back, like that. And then there's also one two blocks away from the door, or the, the door in the red concrete wall, which will be right there. Uh, final lantern, I think it's a soul lantern. Uh, oh no, there's two in this room! Uh, uh, in the red concrete room. If you're in the front right-hand corner, you're counting back diagonally to the left by one, and you'll have your nether brick fence with your soul lantern. Coming over to the left side of the room, you will be above the middle of the leftmost row of orange carpet, which is this carpet right here, and it'll be just straight up, and it'll be a soul lantern again. And, uh, yeah, that's your floor two completely done. So, that's where I'm going to end this video. Uh, I don't really have a timetable for this, unfortunately, because these are kind of just going to get thrown out as I finish them. But, yeah, there's your first two floors. Um, yeah, again, I am planning next will probably be three to four, but I have no idea. But, I mean, with that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Have a fantastic rest of your day or night. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.